In 1954, the first time a nuclear submarine ever reached the lower depths, it awakened something. The Americans first thought that it was the Russians. The Russians thought that it was them. All those nuclear bomb tests in the 50s. Not tests. They were trying to kill it. Him. An ancient alpha predator. Millions of years older than mankind. From an age when the Earth was 10 times more radioactive than it is today. This animal and others like it consumed this radiation as a food source. But as the levels on the surface naturally subsided, these creatures adapted to live deeper in the oceans, further underground, absorbing radiation from the planet's core. The organization we work for, Monarch, was established in the wake of this discovery. A multinational coalition formed in secrecy to search for him, study him, learn everything we could. We call him Gojira. A top of a primordial ecosystem. A god, for all intents and purposes. A monster. Fifteen years ago, we found the fossil of another giant animal in the Philippines, like Gojira. But this creature died long ago, killed by these. Parasitic spores. One dormant, but the other hatched. Catalyzed when a mining company unknowingly drilled into its tomb. The hatchling burrowed straight for the nearest source of radiation, your father's power plant in Janjira, and cocooned there for 15 years, absorbing its radioactive fuel to gestate, to grow. Until it hatched like a butterfly into the creature you saw today. Wait, wait, you knew about this? This thing? The whole time. Why didn't you just kill it when you had the chance? It was absorbing radiation from the reactors. We worried killing it might release that radiation and endanger millions. That's why our mission was to contain it, to study its biology, to understand it. We knew the creature was having an electrical effect on everything within a close proximity. What we didn't know was that it could harness this same power in an EMP attack. But your father did. He predicted it. What else did he say? Please try to remember, Mr. Brody. Anything that would help us. Anything at all. I didn't listen. I just thought he was crazy. He's obsessed with all this. It's only about an animal call. Something talking. Talking? He said he was studying something. Echolocation. If the Muto was talking that day, your father must have discovered something talking back. Check again. Yep. Search for a response call. This parasite is still out there. Where, where, where is it headed? The Muto is young, growing. It will be looking for food. Sources of radiation. We're monitoring all known sites, but... But if we don't find it soon... Then what? Nature has an order. A power to restore balance. I believe he is that power.